I think at for for the world heavyweight title, I think that at WrestleMania these two always step up to the occasion, and I think that this match could be the sleeper of the night. Could turn out to be the best match of the night. Jericho and Edge always have good matches at every Mania. The Taker Edge match I liked. I loved the Edge and Foley match. Um, excuse my dog. I love the Edge and Foley match um, at um, 22, the hardcore match. That was awesome. But Edge always steps up at WrestleMania, and so does Jericho, it seems like. And even though Jericho's been just this nagging hill, and I just can't really stand to even see him come out anymore, um, I liked him a lot better as Y2J. Um, even though that all that's going down, I still think he's a great performer. Um, he looks... I, no offense but he, to any gay people out there, but he looks gay in them tights. I'm just saying, the tights aren't working for you, Jericho. Go back to the pants and grow the hair out. Um, I've been saying it since he went to that look. But, you know, maybe he can win the belt I, um, against Edge. He can retain it. And go back to that, you know, baby face. Who knows? They, they're, they got a lot of heels now. But they're hurting for real good hills, so I think Jericho's probably going to remain a hill. Um, I think overall he's going to drop the title to Edge. Edge seems like they really want to push him, having him come in, win the Rumble. You know, um, it seems like they really want to push him. You know, with the spear, 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 he's getting over as a face now. It seems like, and they're liking that. And uh, Jericho makes a good hill, and that'd make a good thing with Jericho trying to come back for the belt. Um, but yeah, they got, they've got they got Edge versus McIntyre for the SmackDown uh, WrestleMania Revenge Tour coming up, so it looks like it's going to be uh, Edge coming out on top there. WWE Championship, Batista, John Cena, not looking forward to it. These guys never really put on a great match together. Um, I've seen matches with them before and they were just boring. The one where he broke his neck. I watched that one. Um, and it was like this match was just, they didn't know if they were going to have this match or it was going to be Batista and Vince against Cena and Bret Hart because they didn't know if Bret Hart would be able to carry a match himself or not. But it's looking like they're going to have the singles match, which is pretty much solid now. Um, I just can't stand John Cena ever since he became the Marine wannabe. Um, you know, he's trying to be like Hogan or a Rock or something out there. And I just, he's a blockhead, muscled up, Marine wannabe. What else can I say? I, I, I can't stand Cena. What is, why do they think Cena should be the face of the company? I'm the same way as Batista. Batista, what he said on Raw, though it was probably staged, is the truth. You know, I think Batista should be the face of the company over uh, Cena any day. Although he can't stay healthy. But anybody but Cena, you know, come on. Even though Batista kind of sucks too. I mean, I like him better than Cena. Every time I see Cena come out there, it reminds me of uh, Gumby, those blockhead guys off Gumby. Um, so let's just, that's enough of Cena. I don't even want to talk about him. Um, then we've got The Undertaker Michaels 2. Last year it was outstanding, and I loved the build-up last year where they had um, him coming out dressed with the white coat, the white hat, and he was the, uh, you know, the good taker kind of is what they played, the good taker versus bad taker, which was kind of cool, and I loved his entrance last year. I don't see how they can top that match last year, but with Taker and Michaels, you never say never, and... I'm going to give this match a chance, and I'm hoping that it's just as good as last year. Hoping that Undertaker keeps the streak alive, which I'm pretty much thinking that that's what's going to happen. And Michaels needs to take a break. He's been wanting to take a break for a long time, so the career ending part of it would get him out of there for a while. But the plans, I think, are for him to come back, actually, but not till after, like, SummerSlam or so. Maybe even later, I think. Or before, like, even next year's WrestleMania to come back and do one more match. Um, and sent himself out like uh, Ric Flair did. But, um, you know, 
the match is going to either be great or it's going to be a letdown because it's not going to be as good as last year's match. And um, I'm just hoping Taker doesn't dump himself on his head again like he did last year. That was kind of a scary moment. So the Taker-Michaels match, it, I'm expecting it to be a good match, but as I said, I don't know how they could top last year, and that's pretty much my view on that. And that brings us to the last match of WrestleMania 26 that I'm going to review, um, that we think is going to be the last match. I'll get into that in a few seconds. But um, Bret Hart, Vince McMahon, Street Fight. One thing I gotta say, for Raw, if you've got Impact going one-on-one -on -one with you now, and with all the stuff that bags that they've been pulling, tricks they've been pulling out of the bag, you guys better step it up. How can you have a Raw with Stone Cold Steve Austin guest GM suck? It was boring. Um, he never gave nobody a stunner. Never flipped anybody off. That's what we want to see. I mean, yeah, okay, he drank a beer. Um, oh well, you know, that was not Stone Cold Steve Austin, they watered him down to PG, PG Stone Cold, um, the contract signing was pathetic, the leg angle, I think, you know, I didn't see it coming, but I almost did see it coming, I thought they were just, I knew it was fake, I thought they were going to play it for the, uh, um, fact that he's slower now and he won't look as fast as he used to, but... Man, Brett, you better step up to the plate and have a good match because all you're going to do is tarnish your legacy, not um, extend your legacy, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, I don't know. The match is either going to be really good or it's going to be a really, really, really bad letdown. Um, Vince usually can carry guys in a match. He's pretty good at wrestler. Um, I've heard a lot of the guys say that he can work in the ring pretty good. I mean, he's limited, but what he does, he does good. Um, so we're hoping that Vince can help Brett out as far as Bret Hart fans are hoping. I'm talking. And um, we're hoping he can help Brett out to have the best match possible. And I think having a street fight and getting some weapons and stuff in there is going to kind of help him out. Um, and not ha have to make him wrestle as much, because as you know, he did. You know, he does have a quarter-sized hole in his neck. He suffered a stroke after being kicked in the head by um, Goldberg. So he hasn't wrestled since, and you know, he doesn't look like he's in the greatest shape. But he looks a lot better shape than I've seen him when he was inducted to the Hall of Fame. And then, you know. I just don't want to see it tarnish his legacy. I hope he does, you know, good enough for people to win. That's a, that was a pretty entertaining match. Um, so good luck, Brett, if you see this, which I doubt you will. And um, the last thing I want to say um, is where's the Divas? I guess they're going to throw a Diva match in there this Monday or something, is what I'm thinking, because Monday or Friday... They don't have any diva matches. Usually, they have a women's title match on every on every WrestleMania card that I've seen, you know, for the past ten years or so. But there ain't nothing for the women at all this year. So, if anybody's got any insight on what they're going to do with the women's division, which I really don't mind if they don't show them or not, because the WWE women's division, in my opinion, sucks. TNA's knockout division is way better than the WWE divas division, and they better. You know, WWE better keep an eye on it because TNA is two and zero in the uh, Monday Night War on my Monday Night War score, which I keep track on my comments. You can leave your comment too and tell me which um, who you thought was better and who you think what you think the score is. But I got TNA two zero, although it doesn't show in the ratings. Um, I've watched both shows, and TNA was the more entertaining show both weeks, and WWE better step it up, is what I'm saying. I am a WWE fan, I want to see them do good, but uh, TNA is, you know, right on their tail, and uh, all, all it takes is for people to start noticing that TNA is on. I had somebody tell me the other day that they watched it and they liked it, so, and I never even brought it up, so that tells you right there that they're catching people's eye. Um, he was an older fan that got out of wrestling, and now he's into wrestling again, so that's um, good to see. 
But um, everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in. That completes uh, this ed first edition I've done in a long time of the Futures View. Um, I'm going to say peace out to the wrestling world. And uh, I hope WrestleMania is a good one, but with WWE, you never know.